students. The chapter uh, we talk about today is entitled Writing a Bibliography APA Format. As you know, in any reference, you will find at the end, whether it's a book or an article, you will find a list of references. Writing, writing them is very important for any reader in case he would like to consult them. So make sure that you include uh, all the references that you have cited in your research paper. When we examine research papers or even uh, PhD theses, we find uh, many times that some students mention some references in the list of their bibliography which was not used. Or sometimes we can find some works which are cited inside the text but are not mentioned at the end in the list of references. That's why please make sure not to forget to cite any reference that you have cited inside your text and to exclude any reference that you have not seen. Of course, you should not mention references uh, that were indirectly consulted. Uh, today, I will uh, talk about the APA format style. But as you know, there are many styles to write a bibliography. And uh, the most common are the APA or the American Psychological Association and the MLA, Modern Language Association. Today, I focused on the APA format, not because of any preference, but for a simple reason that I did not want to confuse you and talk about different styles. What matters is that you have to use the style you like or you want and be consistent. You should not mix between styles. So how do we write this bibliographic information? Normally, it is mentioned at the end of your paper uh, in new page. with a centered title references and all your references should be listed in an alphabetical order starting with the the family name of the author and followed by the initials of the first and middle name if if any in case you have a reference uh, in which the author's name is not mentioned, then you can start by the title of the reference and of course following the alphabetical order. Now here we have an example of three authors. Uh, you have uh, Hudson, uh, so here the family name, and then we have a comma, and then the initial, the first letter of the first name, first letter of the middle name, and then Trotgill, family name, comma, and then initial of the first uh, name, and a full stop. And you see that there is uh, organized in alphabetical order. You have H in Hudson, then T, and then V. Italics. Now, the format of italics is normally used <coughs> for <coughs> titles of books. Uh, now, here we have an example. You see here that we don't have a name of an author, and I have started with the title of the book. And the title of the book is italicized followed by 
the date of publication between parentheses. Now, according to a recent uh, updating of the APA style of 2019, it states that in the case where the author is unknown, you can start with the word anonymous and then followed by the date of publication. We have here another reference, Hudson, uh, R.A., the date of publication between parentheses, and here the title sociolinguistics, as you can see, it is italicized. So, concerning capitalization, abbreviation, and punctuation, the APA format style is following the usual format of a sentence. In other words, titles are written uh, starting with the capital letter just in the first letter in the first word. Now here we have an example. As you can see, it's uh, the author family name, K, Kama, initials of both first and middle name followed by a full stop. And then you have the date of publication between parentheses and a full stop. And here, as you can see, I have started with a capital letter, review of Arabic. Here we have a capital letter in Arabic, and this is an exception in the case we have uh, uh, a name. So generally, only the first letter of the first word in the title is capitalized according to the APA format style. In a case where you have a name, then it should be capitalized, the first letter. And here, as you can see, all the other words, no letter is capitalized. Now, in the case where you have a reference uh, written by more than one author, you start with the family name of the first author, Kama, initial of both first name and middle name followed by full stops, a comma, ampersand. Then in the same order, we have the family name of the second author, comma, and then uh, the uh, initials of both first name and middle name followed by full stop. In the case where you have a reference with more than six authors. It is stated as follows. So you have the family name of the first author, Kama, and then the initial here, K, of his first name, followed by et al, which means and others. Yet, according to a recent updating of 2019, in the APA format style, it is possible to mention up to 20 authors if they have all participated in writing an article. And as you can see here, uh, we have stated 19 references, uh, names of authors. And then before the last one, we use an ellipsis and we write no ampersand is used and followed by the last uh, author, and then, of course, the, the title of the reference. In the case where we have two or more works by the same author, now here, the alphabetical order will not work because we have the same name, then we will order the two references according to the date of publication. As you can see here, we start with the oldest one or the older and then followed by the most recent. So here we have 2011 followed by 2015. Now, we have another case in which we have uh, the same author who has participated in writing two articles. In one, he is the only writer, and in another one, 
there are two, uh, two authors. In this case, and especially if they were published in the same date as you can see here, 2014, 2014. So we start with the article in which we have just one author, all right? And then in the second, we write uh, the one in which we have two authors. And as you can see, uh, whatever we have an abbreviation, it is followed by a full stop, like the case here. It's, uh, we understand that it is editor in the singular, while here it is editors in plural, and it is followed by a full stop. Now, in the case where we have the same first author, but different second and third authors, and especially when the date of publication is the same, 2014, 2014. So, we start with the first name of the first author. Again, family name, comma, initials of the first and, uh, and middle name, followed by full stops, and then a comma, and then all the names of those who have participated in the article organized in alphabetical order. So you can see that here we have the first name Kapiza, C, and here the second name Reed, R, and uh, Whistleman, W, they are organized in alphabetical order. So we do the same for the second reference. Now, in the case where we have two or more works published by the same author in the same year as in this case. Now here, uh, we should mention uh, a small a and a small b in the second reference showing to the reader that, that the two articles were published in the same year. And of course, it's by, by the same author, as you can see, it's burned in the two references. Now, concerning the date of publication. Normally, we put the date of publication after the initial of the first name and middle name, if it exists. And generally, we put the date of publication between parentheses, followed by a full stop. And here you see the title of the book, Little Size, because it's a, it's a book. We don't little size titles of articles for a simple reason that your reader should be able to distinguish while reading your references whether it's the title of a book or an article. It's very important. So in case I want an article, if I see that the, the title is uh, italicized, I will know that it is a book, so I don't, will not see it. So please try to distinguish between titles of books and titles of articles. Uh, there are also other possibilities concerning titles of articles is that we can use uh, inverted commas or underline. You can use whatever you want, provided that you keep on following the same rule. Now here we have an example. Uh, you see again, the, we start with the family name, comma, and then the initial, uh, the first letter of the first name followed by a full stop and then date of publication between parentheses, followed by a full stop. And here the title, Cost Benefit Analysis in Language Planning, you can see that it is not italicized, and we understand that it is a title of an article. Now, how do we write a reference uh, which refers to a title of a book? Now here, uh, we have uh, an example of a book written by Trad Gill. Um, we start with the family name, comma, first letter of the first name, followed by a full stop. The date of publication is put between parentheses, 
and then followed by a full stop. The title, Sociolinguistics, an introduction to language and society, you can see that it is italicized because it's a title of a book. And then followed by a city, and we finish with the uh, house of publication. Here we have Cambridge. Another example in the case where we have a book written by two authors. So we start with the family name of the first author, comma, initials of the first name and middle name, comma, ampersand, then family name again of the second author, comma, and initials of the first and middle name, followed by the date of publication between parentheses and followed by a full stop. And as you can see, the title here, Presenting Your Findings, a Practical Guide for Creating Tables, you can see that it is italicized because it is a title of a book, followed by the city, and we end up with the house of publication. In the case where you uh, refer to an article in an encyclopedia or a dictionary, now here we have the case of uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. Again, the same ordering. We, we start with the family name of the author, comma, then initials of both first and middle name, and date of publication between parentheses, followed by a full stop, and here the title, Relativity, and as you can see, it is not italicized because it's not the title of a book. What is interesting is that the name of the encyclopedia is, should be put in italics, in the new Encyclopedia Britannica, and you have to mention the number of the volume, you can see that I have used here an abbreviation of volume, and whenever you have an abbreviation, make sure to use a full stop. So number of the volume, comma, then the pages, again an abbreviation, a full stop, and here 501 and 508 shows the pages where you can find this article, and of course the city, and the uh, house of publication. The next example, we have uh, taken something from uh, a dictionary. So here, the Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. Make sure to mention uh, which edition. And you see here that I have put a full stop after ED because it's an abbreviation of the word edition between parentheses, followed by a full stop. Then, date of publication between parentheses, followed by a full stop, and then the city and the house of publication. In the case where you have a title or an article taken from a magazine or a newspaper, same order. We start with the family name of the author, a comma, initials of his first and middle name, date of publication between parentheses, followed by a full stop. Here the title, Fundamentals for Preparing Psychology Journal Articles. As you can see, it's not italicized because it is a title of an article. And then the journal title is or should be italicized, Journal of Comparative and Psychological Psychology, the number of the journal and the pages where you will find the article. Uh, another article, this time taken from uh, the newspaper The Time, and here again the family name of the author, a comma, initials of the uh, middle and first name, date of publication between parentheses, and here if you have the exact month, you should mention it, the title, making the grade in today's school, you see that it is not italicized because it is a title of an article, 
but the the title of the newspaper e should be italicized and here the number and the number of the pages where the article can be found last but not least uh, articles taken from a website or a web page now here as you can see family name of the author comma initial of the first name or by a full stop the year in which the uh, article was uh, uploaded or published 2001 and here the month we have it and then the title lightning injures for at music festival it is not italicized because it's a title of of uh, an article but as you can remark according to the APA format you have to mention the time or the date where you have retrieved your article as you can see here I have retrieved this article or it was retrieved on the January 23rd 2002 so the article was published in 2001 but it was retrieved only in 2002. It's very important to mention the date when it was retrieved because uh, uh, content on the net can be modified. And the most important thing is that you have to include the internet link from where you have downloaded or uh, your um, article or you have access to it it's very important so uh, again when you put this internet link it's very easy for any reader who would like to consult the article to just click on the link and be directed automatically towards the article that's why dear students make sure to copy well the link it will be very embarrassing and not helpful if you copy half of the link and then when someone would like to use your reference when he clicks on the link it leads to nowhere the references that i have used are mentioned here okay to recapitulate uh, today i have uh, given a presentation about uh, how to write your list of references following the APA format style and as I have told you there are many styles the most common are the APA and the MLA in this presentation I have focused on the APA for in order not to confuse you but feel free to use any style provided that you are consistent so no mixing between different styles is uh, allowed uh, those list of references remember that they should be put uh, at the end of your research paper on a new page under a title which is centered uh, uh, namely references and your references should be ordered in alphabetical order starting with the authors family name plus the initials of just the first and middle name and of course now here uh, remember to organize alphabetically all the names of the authors that you have used in the case where you have a title of a book it should be italicized it's very important uh, in order to distinguish between books and articles in the case where you don't know the name of the author we said that it is possible to start with the title of the of the book or the article and you follow of course the alphabetical order but according to the recent updating of the APA format in 2019 it is possible to start with the word anonymous and date of publication 
uh, in the APA format style, normally titles are uh, written in the format of a sentence. So you start by capitalizing the first letter of the first word. But in case you have a name inside the title, of course, you have to capitalize the first letter. Otherwise, you capitalize only the first letter of the title. So, in the case where you have two authors, you start in the same order, family name of the first author, uh, comma, initials of the first and middle name, ampersand, and then the family name of the second author, and uh, uh, his uh, initials of first and middle name. But in the case where you have more than six authors, it is possible to write just the family name of the first uh, author and of course the initial of his first name and middle name followed by et al which means and others but according to a uh, recent updating of the APA format it is possible now to write up to 20 authors names uh, make sure to put an ellipsis before the 20th uh, uh, name uh, of the author so no need for the ampersand in this case. In the case where you have two works which are written by the same author, you order them following the date of publication uh, from the old, older one to the newer one. In the case where you have uh, one author who has written an article alone and the same author has written uh, another article with another author, you start with the one in which he appears uh, alone. Again, when you have the same first author, you have two references where you have the same first author and you have uh, many uh, uh, other authors and different authors, you have to order the uh, second, third, etc. authors in alphabetical order. Now, when you have two articles written by the same author in the same year, then you have to use small a after the date of publication and small b for the second reference. Now here, remember that the date of publication is mentioned automatically after the initial of the first name or middle name if it exists and be put between parentheses and followed by uh, full stop. We don't italicize title of articles for a simple reason that you would like to make a difference between um, an article and the title of a book. So if you have a book, you need the family name of the author, initial of his first name, date of publication, title of the book, italicized, uh, and then the city and house of publication. In the case where you have uh, a reference taken from a dictionary or an encyclopedia, now here again it's the same order, the author and the family name of the author, initials of his first and middle name, date of publication, title of the article, remember that it should not be italicized, but here remember that we should italicize the, the name of either the encyclopedia or the dictionary. Remember again to mention the number of the volume, number of pages where you can find your article and also concerning a dictionary mention the, the edition uh, and of course whenever you have an abbreviation don't forget to use a full stop after. Uh, if it is a magazine or a newspaper it's the same order uh, again, uh, remember that titles of articles should not be italicized, but titles of journals and titles of newspapers and titles of magazines should be italicized. Don't forget to mention the number and then the number of the pages where you will find the article. Last but not least, whenever you take a reference from internet, uh, again, you follow the same order, then 
don't forget please to mention the date when you have retrieved it why because the content on the net can be modified and don't forget to copy the link of the internet so that it can help anyone who would like to consult that uh, reference thank you very much